for much of the 19th century, Leander had no permanent home of its own. And it wasn't until 75 years had passed that the club decided to build its very first permanent clubhouse right here in Henley. And the reason they built it here was because Henley Royal Regatta was already some 60 years old. Leander was already the most successful club at that regatta, and that's a position it retains to this day. In 2018, Leander celebrates its bicentenary, and this is where it all started, way down in Lambeth, on the site of what is now St. Thomas's Hospital. It was there that for the very first time in 1818, uh, six gentlemen of that era climbed into a boat called the Leander. Leander's special in, in many ways. It's the oldest uh, rowing club in the country. It's the most successful rowing club in the world. Because we are something like 50% of the Great Britain team, by and large, if there's any medals going, Leander's involved. One of the many uh, unique points about Leander Club is the way in which we have so many of our athletes who've won Olympic medals over the last hundred years and more. And right here is a montage that we commissioned way back in 2012 to celebrate all 111 of the Leander athletes who won Olympic medals since those very first games in which we took part in 1908. And here on the wall we have a picture of the 1908 men's eights final, uh, Leander beating Belgium for another gold medal. So we're now standing in the members room here at Leander and above our heads we can see some of the oars that either Steve Redgrave or Matthew Pinson had used to amass their total of nine Olympic gold medals between them. Really, I was probably the first full-time athlete here. Um, very big weekends that uh, all the national men's team used to come here and train at the weekends. And that was really, I think, the start of, of something big that Great Britain done. And, and Leander was very much at the heart of that. Two of the most famous athletes in Leander's long history are Don Burnell and his son Richard. Don Burnell won an Olympic gold medal as a member of the GB Men's 8 in 1908 and here is that medal. And then when uh, Don's son Richard won gold at the 1948 Olympics, it became the only occasion in Olympic history when both father and son had won gold medals. Well, we're now in the boathouse, which is still the same three bays that were built when the boathouse was constructed way back in 1896. Behind me, though, the club boats with their distinctive yellow hull. Here at Leander, we aim to give our athletes the very best of everything, the best coaching, the best nutrition, uh, and the best boats so that they can perform to their best. The history of the club, it's the oldest club, it's the most successful rowing club in the world. Um, in terms of Olympic medals, couldn't be in a better place and we're all really pleased and proud to be part of the club. We can't forget next year is Rio. Um, you've seen that we've got 111 Olympic medals to date. We should be looking to add a big number to that tally, um, keeping us at the very pinnacle of rowing.